That's so hard sometimes. I mean, really still, not just physically inactive. Life is much more like the background of that introductory video. Even that was speeded up much faster than it would be in real time. In fact, I think life has become much more like the start of the London Marathon, in normal years of course, where it seems to take hours for the thousands of runners to race past the start. A great big race, all crushed together. Well, we've got so used to being locked down over the past few months, but that has often been accompanied by all sorts of anxieties. Is it safe to do this, to go there? That sneeze, is that Covid? Or perhaps the lockdown has given rise to all sorts of frustrations. I can't see my family. I'm perfectly healthy and fit. Why should I have to go without meals out or nights in the pub with my equally healthy friends? Why had the authorities always got it in for people like me? So here we are, still waiting. Waiting to come out of Tier 3 for Christmas, to see some of our family, too many of us to meet all together indoors, and yet still fearful that Tier 3 will return after Christmas. How are you coping with all this? When it comes to long-term things of value, maybe COVID is teaching us that hurrying doesn't take us very far. We need to find more productive ways of being still. Psalm 37 teaches us to embrace these times of stillness and to use them to get to know God better and to learn to trust him more. This time of Advent is a time to take a step back, to delight in the universe that God has created, both for its vastness and its intricacy, an intricacy that has enabled scientists working at microscopic levels to create vaccines that have the potential to defeat Covid and even soon perhaps malaria. If that doesn't leave you breathless with excitement, how about the news today? that a Japanese spacecraft has been able to land on an asteroid, send a sample back to Earth and then proceed to find another in it to search. So let's take delight in a God who really cares for us with a love that far exceeds any human love. A God who is totally trustworthy. So now is the time to slow down, to take stock, and invite God to show us all he wants to do for us. Psalm 37 Trust in the Lord and do good, and then you will live in the land and enjoy its food. Find your delight in the Lord, and then he will give you everything your heart really wants. It comes from slowing down and being still before God. <laughs> 